Hey folks, welcome. <clears throat> this is my welcome video for all of my classes this spring 2023 semester. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna learn a lot. And it's really important to me, my goal is always to make the classes applicable to your real lives. And so you'll see that a lot in these classes. That's my intention. Uh, because when it does that, we tend to learn more. And geography is very easy to do that. Um, so this semester, these online classes are synchronous. So I will look at your Zoom link uh, for each class and we will meet online like this, but in a Zoom. And what I recommend is, because most of my lectures um, are pre-taped with a PowerPoint. And so each week it's a little bit different, but I recommend going through the PowerPoint and if there's an audio lecture, looking at the audio lecture uh, before we have class, because then during the time that we have in person, I can answer questions about that. And it's a much more useful time rather than me just delivering the information that I already have there available to you, usually in the audio or PowerPoint for that week. Um, and I also recommend doing the readings ahead of time. And it's a really good practice to get into. Most students don't do that. But it's a really good practice to get into uh, just doing the, that work ahead of time because then when you come to the physical class or a Zoom class, you, you're just polishing up what you already know and you're asking questions. And so that information sinks in deeper and your grades simply go up and also your long-term retention. So the Zoom meeting meetings will be primarily discussing what has been presented in lecture and answering questions. Uh, the work for all of my classes is due Sunday night at midnight. No matter what is due that week, sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's a little, it's due Sunday night at midnight. Uh, the last week of class usually ends on a Friday though, so that's to be remembered uh, the last week in May but uh, every works do Sunday night at midnight. I try to get it in on time. It's amazing to me, I'm an on time person, it's just amazing to me how so many people on earth are not, <laughs> uh, but you will be downgraded. If, if your work is late, you cannot get an A on it. You can still turn it in uh, and it will be generally downgraded. If it's late, even 10 minutes late, I know that's harsh, uh, you lose a full grade, so it's already a B. And then after that, every approximately every week, it goes down another full grade that it's late. So it goes down quickly. So if you tend to turn things in late, try to break that habit and turn them in early. Uh, books, so I, one of the books, for, for my cultural classes and for my intro to physical classes, I provide you with a free book that I wrote called Five Ways to Save the Planet in Your Spare Time. That's there available at the top of your course. Uh, it, for the Intro to Physical Geography classes, there's also the Christofferson book called Geosystems. That's uh, available at the Laney Library if you want to check it out. You can also buy a used copy of it. Any edition will work. So you can buy older, very cheap editions. Don't spend more than $20 and make sure to order that early in the semester as soon as you can so that it'll come to you in time. In the Geography 2 classes, it's called uh, The Cultural Landscape by Rubenstein. Any edition is fine, uh, but you can also check that out at the Laney Library. In the lab classes, the only class you need, book you need is The Geosystems by Christofferson because the lab manual, I copy and present to you all the pages that you need. One more thing, if you need to pass the class, tell me now. If you're desperate to pass it because you're an athlete or you're graduating, tell me early in the semester. Don't tell me one day before class ends. Tell me early and we can work together to help you pass the class. Uh, everything you turn in must be your own words and phrased in your own words. Obviously, you're drawing from resources and I know most of those resources already because I'm giving them to you. Uh, but it must be in your own words. Do not copy another student. It is very clear to me when that happens. I've been teaching a long time. Also, most of the content that you present in your submissions 
must be from the, the, the resources that I give you each week, the PowerPoints, the readings, the videos. You can supplement that with your own research, for instance, online. You can supplement it so there's some outside sources. That's fine if you cite them. But it's too common that I find, a, for instance, someone will draw from an outside source and simply copy it. It's very obvious to me. And also there's a resource called Turn It In where I put it in there and it very clearly showed that you copied. That is a huge no-no. It can, it can have you instantly fail the course and even get kicked out of school. So do not do that. If you do get some information from another source, an online source, just cite it. Just in parentheses, say the uh, author, the year, the resource, or you can cite it at the end of the page, that's fine. Uh, last, to get in touch with me, you can email me, you can message me within Canvas, and if you want to speak to me, you can simply call me on Facebook Messenger uh, in the mornings, uh, 8 to noon, I would say, if you really need to talk, or message me there um, on Facebook Messenger, facebook.com slash Professor Greg, with no spaces, is me. So welcome, and uh, let's learn some things, let's have some fun, and uh, I look forward to reading your submissions.